Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and it's a cool morning here in Georgia, so it's time to make something hot. And by that, I mean a rocket stove made from flue liner and fire brick. I'm choosing the flue liner just because it's a different material. It's also a natural material, terracotta. Specifically, this is eight and a half inch square terracotta flue liner and thin fire brick. I've made a lot of rocket stoves out of concrete and I just wanted to try some different materials that perhaps didn't require the cure time that concrete does. So rather than waiting a month to use this, I get to use it a lot more quickly. I'm actually gonna use this rocket stove to power a pizza oven. I'm actually gonna put it right here next to my Cobb bread oven because I found that the bread oven just doesn't do a good job cooking pizza. Of course, the bread oven, you heat up, pull the fire out, and then it cooks the bread with the radiant heat stored in the mass of the cob oven. Whereas with a pizza oven, you normally leave the fire in and cook the pizza with the radiant heat, the reflective heat coming off the top of the oven. So the high arch in this oven, which does a good job of capturing and holding the heat, doesn't do a good job cooking pizza. So the first part of this video will be the rocket stove build and then the second part will be the pizza oven add-on. So stay tuned for both videos. All right, back to the rocket stove. So the first thing I'm gonna do in this area over here is build a stable base for the stove. And I'm actually gonna do that with a big hunk of concrete that I salvaged from a construction project across the street. I'm gonna grab a shovel and level the ground here just a little bit. So we start off with a nice level, solid surface. I'm gonna level the base with a shovel full of creek sand. An alternative to using a piece of salvaged concrete like this would be to cast the base. So the flue pipe is gonna sit on here just like this. Flue liner is not made to handle high temperatures, just the smoke in a chimney. So I'm actually gonna create an insulated firebox with the fire brick. It's gonna go inside the dimension of the flue liner. So I'm actually gonna have to cut down a fire brick to fit inside the back. I'm also gonna cut an opening in the front to provide for a firebox and the feed ramp. So let's mark this up and make some cuts with the grinder. Check this for square. This process is gonna make a lot of dust that I don't want to be breathing, so I'm gonna wear a dust mask and some eye protection. And I'm using a masonry blade. I tried out, started out trying with a metal cutting blade and I just made it mad. So I've got this thing pretty deeply scored. And what I'm gonna try and do instead of cutting all the way through it is putting a, a seam down the middle here and see if I can just break it out carefully with a hammer. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> I might end up cracking the whole thing, but I'm, I'm hopeful that since I've got some deep cuts here that it'll break off. I may actually do an X here just to kinda give it some weak points to crack in. Let's give that a try. But 
one down the middle for extra measure. All right, wish me luck. Actually, I'm gonna take it off this concrete block to do that. Ah! So that was not what I had hoped for. I've got another one of these, but I may try and salvage this by gluing it back together. I've got some masonry adhesive. Although what this tells me is that I really do need to grind all the way through it. I love it when a plan almost comes together. I'm gonna take another crack at this. Pun fully intended. I had this cut was almost all the way through. So I was confident that I was gonna get a nice break there. Now let's just clean this up. All right, so that was entirely too much work. And if you've watched my channel enough, you know that I'm not just gonna show you my successes. I'm gonna show you my failures too. But what I wanna do right now is pivot. I've got another one of these um, that's fully intact and so what I want to do is actually see if I can assemble this without having to cut it and but to do that I'm going to go to some thicker fire brick which I happen to have as well and see if we can just build the firebox underneath the um, the chimney flue so rather than cutting out an, a firebox we're going to just build one and that's actually going to probably save us some cutting on the brick as well so I'm gonna go grab that brick and the other flue and we'll take two. So I'm gonna assemble the firebox with the brick like this. I'm actually gonna use a thin one on the back. And then two more full fire bricks on this side. I'll have to cut out a thin brick to fit in the back there, but I like this ledge here on the front because it's gonna give me a place to rest the feed ramp, which we're going to cut out of some metal. And then, of course, the blue liner will sit on top like this. I'm going to adhere this together with some fireplace mortar. Even though the stove will be supported by the pizza oven section on top, I do want this to be locked together safely on the bottom. Withstands up to 2,000 degrees. So much easier than all that cutting. I'm gonna mark this brick to cut for the back here. While we're here, let me introduce you to Rocket Stove Row. I have my initial build, which is cracked. I actually plan to put some straps on this, just like this one. The second stove made from crack resistant concrete, which actually hasn't cracked, has an armature in it. And then of course the perlite and concrete mixture, which did crack, but I'm seeing this is a stress relief crack. We'll see if that continues to open or if this band will hold it closed. And then you may remember the metal rocket stove build I did on here on YouTube. This is the original prototype. And I actually had some laser cut out of cold rolled steel. And that brings me to this, which is the 
production version of the Rocket King rocket stove. Made out of stainless, and in fact, I've got a Kickstarter on this project. Uh, if you're interested in helping me see this get produced, perhaps want one yourself, you can click on the link above for the Kickstarter. It'd be much appreciated. So, if the Kickstarter is successful and the stove does go into production, it'll end up on Amazon as well. So, if Kickstarter's over, the link will take you to the Amazon store for this stove. Sometime soon we'll get the whole row fired up here, but I gotta get my heat protection metal up there first. Back to the chimney flue rocket stove. Alright, the firebox is complete. A little squeeze out there in the back, but that'll be in the back of the stove, so I'm not as concerned. Alright, let's add the flue pipe to the top, trace where it's going to sit, and then put down a bead and stick it on. Got a little bit of a gap in the back here. I'm going to squeeze in a bead. Alright, so the firebox and flue are attached. Adhesive on. Now let's make the ramp. I'm actually going to use some metal like this that I salvaged from a recycling event. This is one I made for one of the other concrete rocket stoves. And it'll sit on there just like this with the leg on it. But I want the angle to be a little bit less steep than this, so the sticks really aim for the back of the firebox. Help them get further in there. They'll burn better that way. So, I'm gonna mark out a different angle on this other piece over here. Reduce that angle a little bit and Now I'm going to clean it up. Alright, let's give it a test fit. Nice. I'm glad about welding the legs, but that adds an expensive tool to this project. So, since this stove isn't going to move, um, I'm just going to uh, hammer the legs into the ground and, and leave them in place. Alright, I'll probably have to adjust these from time to time maybe even concrete them in at some point, but for now I like the the rigidity of this and it'll be just fine. I also like that I can pull the ramp on and off as I need to clean the stove out. 
once it's cool, of course. All that's left now to do is fire it up. And because I didn't have to cast any of this concrete, it's all already cured. I don't have to wait. Start with some small sticks. Got some comments on the last time I used the feed ramp that uh, I needed to do two things differently. One of which was to let the fuel, the angle of the ramp, push the fuel further to the back of the stove, to the back of the firebox. And also, another great suggestion was not to overload it. So I had the ramp full of sticks and uh, lots of comments that suggested I needed some air space here in order to allow air to be pulled in above the fuel as well as below it. So I'm going to leave plenty of room for that as well. I can definitely hear a rocket sound. And my last question here is, will it feed? I'm going to wait a little bit for that. I'm going to pause this, let it burn down a little bit, and see if I can get this fuel to slide down the feed ramp as it's consumed. So the ramp does help the fuel to slide in, but it still required a little bit of manual jostling. Just as I put in new wood in order for it to feed in on its own. I'm okay with that. But I'm really happy with the burn on the stove. There's some nice vortexing, really pulling the air in. When it's going game busters, you can really hear the rocket roar. All right, so this brings us to the end of part one. The terracotta flue liner and fire brick rocket stove. The burner that's gonna fire a pizza oven. For reference purposes, the pizza oven is gonna sit on the top of this like this. The floor and walls of the pizza oven will be built with fire brick. And then there'll be a concrete and perlite arch to form the top. My plan is to build the oven over the next couple weeks. Of course, I'll film that and get a video up here on the channel to complete the project. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new Green Shorts DIY video almost every Friday. If you get a chance to go over and check out my Kickstarter page for the Rocket King rocket stove made out of stainless, I would really appreciate your support. 